Yeah, it's a little bit of a road trip movie. You know, the Duncans get separated, and you know, our, our series works so well with us being together as a family unit. It's interesting to kind of watch the wheels fall off, so to speak, as we get separated. So I guess the big dilemma is, will we get back together as a family by Christmas? Teddy wants to go with her friend on a trip over spring break, uh, her friend Ivy, and so um, her parents tell her that she has to be responsible and, and uh, pay for her own ticket, and so she has no means to do that. And so when she's offered a free ticket for hopping on a different flight for Christmas, um, she does it, and her mom goes along with her because she can't be by herself. And um, they wind up running into a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to reunite for Christmas. And um, Teddy has to step up and be quite responsible in this episode or in this movie. So yeah, it was it was a I think it was a good moment for her character. First of all, the little girl rules. That's yeah, where she, things go wrong pretty quickly. It's mostly the little girl that's yeah. the mayhem. The little girl drives the show. So uh, <laughs> it's all about appeasing the little girl, and that just turns into chaos. Well, you know, you're working with a two-year-old, now just turned three. Uh, I love the fact that, you know, there's no sugarcoating it with a kid. If she's in the mood to do something, she complies, and if she's not, she's not going to do it. And I love that kind of honesty working with someone. Sometimes I'll just say to her, Mia, are you going to do this? And she'll say no. And I'll just say to the producer, she's not going to do it. Move on, you know. So it, it, she always keeps it uh, very lively. One of my favorite things that bringing up Mia, one of the scenes we were doing outside, and we were like, can you do this for us? And she was like, no. <laughs> and she was just like, she just like said and was like, no, that's not happening. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's, uh, Mia was, uh, Mia was two when we shot the movie. So, you know, because you have, uh, you have this fantastic little girl. I mean, what's great about Mia is that she was hired on without a twin. And usually you have a double, you know. Just in case, uh, just in case one isn't in the mood or whatever, but uh, but Mia has always been fabulous yeah. in the sense that you know she's she will she will carry a scene and she will take a scene places if you're willing to follow that are just loads of fun. But you have you have Mia you have Mia's character Charlie on the screen and then you have Mia off screen who had just turned two, and she was also she was she wasn't at home, she didn't yeah. see her daddy for a while which made her upset, and it, there was just this one day that she was just like, no, I'm not doing it. We would just <laughs> like, ask her to do it, and she would just be like, no. Well, me and Lee Allen didn't shoot in Palm Springs, or we weren't even pretending to shoot in, in Palm Springs. Um, the whole movie was shot in Utah, but we were shooting in some of the colder uh, locations, um, so, you know, there was one scene where it actually genuinely did start snowing. So we got a bit of a white Christmas, which was fun. There are so many, but one of my favorite moments is um, when Bridget Mendler and I were standing outside of this chalet. <laughs> and um, it was, I think we had it decorated as like a bus stop or as like this little restaurant. Um, or no, it was decorated as a grocery store and they had a sign out front that said eggs and milk. And in the middle of our scene, this man drives up, parks his car, gets out, and walks in. And everybody's going, excuse me, excuse me. And he's like, I need to buy eggs and milk. And we're like, it's not a real grocery store. You know, it was really funny. Um, you know, we were originally thinking of doing a Christmas-themed song for the movie because it's a holiday season. Um, but then we decided that maybe we should play more on the theme of, uh, of a family trying to reunite. And um, so that's kind of what the song is based on. It's called, I'm going to run to you. And so um, I think it's a, it's a really nice message of, of togetherness and, and that sort of thing. And um, it ties in nicely with the storyline without being too wham bam. That's the good luck Charlie <laughs> synopsis. So um, yeah, it was, it was a fun song to write. I enjoyed it. Well, I just think that it's really heartwarming and you'll have a lot of laughs. I mean, that's what Christmas is about. It's the, the build up to Christmas, part of that build up is not just holiday songs and holiday decorations, but really a big um, part of the pop culture for Christmas is now holiday movies. If you don't watch the movie, but you do watch the third season of Good Luck Charlie, it will not make sense to you. The movie is what brings the third season together.
Yes, the uh, the uh, yeah the Duncan family travels through the series, and they also travel through the movie, which brings them to the season three. Yes, what happened in the movie becomes the TV show, basically. I'm not gonna say anything except evil twin. I don't even know what he's talking about. He's just gone off now. 